We are in the kitchen and cooking with Casey. Casey Schwartz is the creator of All Things Mama and All Things Yummy. Yes, hi! <laughs> Welcome back. We Thank missed you. you in the kitchen. Oh, I've missed being here. Yeah. Did you have a great Christmas? I did, I did. Good, yeah, good. good New Year's. Me too. It's been great. Awesome, yes. Awesome. What, what do we have here today? Are we eating healthy? We are eating what healthy. We are. So, you know, we made all kinds of things with butter and sugar all and All those Christmas chocolate. cookies. Yes, yes. Yes. So now we need to get back on track. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so okay. I know. But we're going to do it in a healthy, delicious way. Okay. okay? So what we're are the make, ingredients? We got a bunch We of have right homemade granola. Okay. Okay. So we're going to make it at home. It's a lot easier than you really think, and okay. it's a lot cheaper than mm. buying it at the store. I like so, that. What we're going to do is we're going to start with four cups of rolled oats. Okay. Okay. So that's the whole rolled oats. These are the organic kind. Use what you have in your pantry. If you have quick oats, I think that's fine too. Okay. Okay. So we're going to add some dry ingredients. So I'm going to let you dump those in. I hear my butter over here. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, it looks like sugar. That's actually salt. So oh, salt. that is a half a teaspoon of sea salt, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a cup of sliced almonds. Mm -hmm. I know. A cup of un, um, unsweetened coconut flakes. And a half a cup of walnuts. Could we so, n leave the nuts out? You could leave it okay. out or you could do a different one. Okay. Maybe pecans. Just in case someone has yeah. allergies. Yeah, half a cup of sunflower seeds. Okay. Stir all those together. All right. And then over here on the stove, I have, I have butter. Mm. Oh, so <laughs> it's not stick of that, butter. It's not that healthy. <laughs> well, you need something uh -huh. to moisten it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I have a half a cup of honey that we're okay. going to sweeten with. I'm going to pour this in while you're stirring. Okay. The kind of boiling thing. So you have honey and butter at the same time. This I is do. not well, you know a healthy. What? I'm it in maple syrup too. <laughs> this is not a healthy recipe. I don't it's care okay. what you We're say. We're putting in two tablespoons of maple syrup. You know, these are all you know ingredients. They're, it's natural. That, all it's natural. natural that okay. don't have chemicals in mm -hmm. it. So I'm gonna mix this around. Let it boil. Okay. And we're gonna pour it in there. I got this all mixed up. You know, a little tip is that for your honey to come out of here really clean and nice is to spray it with a nonstick spray so it will just pour right out right out. Oh I love that idea. I know. I always learn stuff when you're here, I Casey. I love it when you're here. <laughs> Little tips. It's pretty awesome. Tips for life to make things easier. Remove it from the heat once it gets all melted together. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna put in um, a tablespoon of vanilla. Now have you tried this recipe with your kids? Yes. What do they think? They love it. And they get really excited when I make it because it bakes for like 30 minutes and it just makes the whole house smell like cinnamon. Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> so. All right. Okay. So let's pour it in. Yep. Let me try not to make a huge mess. Okay. It's not my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to pour this in. Okay. And then we're going to mix it really well. So just stir and stir and reach down in the bottom and get all the stuff. Oh, that smells amazing. Doesn't it smell good? I know. Just want to eat that. Just the maple just syrup, eat right? It. Yeah, just want to Just eat get this. it really good so it's all completely wet. It looks like it won't cover, but it's oh, going to. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really look like it. It will. Casey. Just keep stirring and oh. stirring. Okay. You know, you can make this into a granola for your yogurt, or you can make it into bars. Okay, because yeah. I, I like going to the drive thru and getting a parfait with the granola on top. Well, you know what? I'm going to show you how to make those in the next segment. So then you don't have to go through the drive thru. You can just do it at home before yeah, you leave. Yeah, this is a lot. It is. This is a lot. This will make a lot. Okay, and I guess keep... it's getting wet enough yeah. here. Yeah. So once you get it all stirred up, we're going to put it on this line baking sheet. Do, do you want me to dump it or you want to dump it? It doesn't matter. I know, yeah, you dump it. Okay, I'll dump it. All right, so we've got that all stirred up. Oh, we're almost out of time. Okay, oh. well, all we're going to do is we're going to pour it on here at 325 for 30 minutes and then we're going to let it cool and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay. And okay. eat it, right? We're going to eat, eat it. Eat it, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Casey, thanks again for being here. Alrighty. We'll check in with you in just a little bit. In Woo. the meantime, you can check out this recipe on her website, allthingsmama.com.